Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Violet. Um, okay, so in this episode, we're going to be doing quite a few things. We had talked about in previous episodes that we wanted to go after the legendaries, and there really hasn't been a lot of discussion about them up until this point. The legendaries can be obtained by collecting all of their related colored stakes that are in the ground. Um and opening up their seal. We've seen a little bit of that. I think we've seen a couple of different doors, like a, like a, it looks kind of like a, a glowing shield panel thing uh, on the wall with some chains crisscrossed across that. So to unlock them, we have to collect all the stakes around the map. There's yellow, purple slash black, like they look black, but they have a purple glow. Um, green and blue. So there's four, I think, as far as I know. At, at the time of this video, I think there's four, but I don't know, we'll see. Of those four, I wanted to go after the the ominous blue stakes uh, because I think that legendary is the coolest freaking one that that they have. It's a really freaking awesome fish Pokemon. It looks really cool, really sweet. So we'll be doing that in this episode. But in addition to it, I wanted to also um, emphasize that we're going to be trying to build trying to build up our team for when we go and investigate the gym leaders and do like rematches with them. So this is what the team looks like now. That's going to change, obviously. Um, well, I mean, not obviously, but Slacking is really the only one that I'm not entirely sold on having on the team just yet. But I'll worry about that later. Anyway. Okay, so, uh, building up the team, we're going to be doing these. We're going to knock out some little raids. Three-star raid, it's a ground-type one. I'm going to go ahead and just challenge that alone. Okay. We're gonna get some uh, items to level up here, and then we will just make our way towards the different stakes. I've got list here, and I'm looking at, looking at it from, I think it's DOT Esports or DOT Esports. I've seen them pop up here and there, but I don't know if it's called DOT or DOT. In any case, I will have the links to what I'm following uh, in the description box below. So obviously, if you struggle with trying to figure this stuff out, um, I don't blame you. But just take a look at the description box and we'll figure it out together. Wow, this is an interesting team. Look at that. Haxorus, the Dunsparce, the Tauros. Very interesting. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Nice. Half damage. Leer. Man. Leer. So I guess, yeah, this legendary that we're going after is called Chi Yu or Chai Yu, but it's really cool. That is one of the raddest looking legendary Pokemon I've ever seen. It's like a Chinese goldfish or something. I'm very ignorant when it comes to that, but it's really freaking sweet. I love the art style of that Pokemon. That's really cool looking. Hopefully it looks good when we catch it. <laughs> I have like 200 some Master Ball, or uh, Master Balls, Ultra Balls that I think will be well off for us on that front. Okay, and then there was another one over here. Let's go after that. Man, I wish we could have a boost in Glide. Primer. Grab you. You never know, there could be upgrades like a uh, Like level upgrades and stuff. Okay, what do we have? Oh, this is gonna be a tough one. Um. Let's see. I think I think this really should be good here. Man, this is going to take a long time. We're going to have to do this in multiple videos for each legendary because this is going to be really hard. Because there are... So what I'm looking at... There are 30-some stakes here for that. Yeah. Wait, no. Hold on. 
Okay, wait a minute. No, no, no. So there are a lot of stakes, but this isn't bad. There's only eight. Okay, sweet. I was... Okay, I didn't understand that. That is good news for us. I was reading that there was 32 stakes, but it must be because each of the four... Ha oh, shit. <laughs> each of the four has, uh, has eight stakes, so eight, 16, 32. That's very good news. Okay. I misunderstood that. Dude, we are getting our butt kicked here. This thing is so strong. We're never going to beat this. Oh, well, they're doing a little more damage. Yeah, he's going to put a shield around him in a second. Yeah, we need a Terra if we're going to do this. So I guess, so he's still an ice type in terms of his moves, but his dark type change just gives him like the protection of dark type or like the, but it, that would lower his attack moves, right? So if he's dark, cause I think he's, is he, is clearly ice and dark? I can't remember. No, ice and steel? Shoot, I can't remember. Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's tear it and see if we can beat the crap out of this thing. Can I tear yet? Don't you disable... Oh, I thought it was going to hit me with Disabled Bitter Blade. I was going to be very upset. <laughs> yes. Hopefully this does a little bit more damage. I thought because of his ice type that would help, but I I don't really... I still don't understand this far into this into the game because I don't really use terror types that much. I don't really understand how it works. So he's not ice slash dark now. His, it's just dark. But he only knows his base attacks. Like, his attacks didn't change. There we go. Based off of his Terra type. Which I think is kind of a, a huge disappointment. There sh if you're, if you're po like, a Pokemon type, like this case, Ice, but you Terra into Dark, your moves should change to reflect that, I think. Because otherwise you know a bunch of Ice moves. While being Dark, and that just seems like that doesn't really help you. We're getting very lucky, by the way. Our level has, is definitely saving us, making Lily's attacks weak. And also, on top of that, it's very helpful in that he doesn't use Disable on me yet, because Bitter Blade, Bitter Blade is my number one attack. Oh, he stole some energy? So we have a limited time to do the Terra, don't we? Hmm. Yeah, it's not going to do enough. I need to get some heavier coasters. I've got these cheap cardboard-like type ones. And every time I pick up my, my mug, I think the condensation or, or whatever moisture on the outside of the mug is causing the coaster to stick to the bottom and it picks up with and I look like a total dummy. This is going to be the, so close. If he, Oh, man, this is going to be such a close fight. Look at that. I'm so glad that he's only using Crunch on me, though. That one did a little more damage, but most of the time it's done a fraction of that. So when it... Is there, like, a gauge on screen for me, like, in terms of how long my Terra is going to last? Because it... I don't really understand it. Oh, my God. We're, it's going to be so close. Or do we just keep the Terra for the whole battle? I don't know. This is, seriously, I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh crap, that one really hurt. Come on. I'm on the edge of my seat with this one. We're gonna be so close. Oh, he's in the red. Okay, come on, come on. Get there, baby, get there. Wow, I got a lot of health back for that too. Come on, come on. We don't have a lot of time. If I freeze on this one, that would really suck. Okay. Bitter Blade's going to do some damage. Come on, we don't have time to waste. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. If we don't, it's going to be so... We are inching. We might not make this. Shoot, 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 shoot. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Go, go, go. That was really close. I played that really dumb. <laughs> but we got it, so that's all right. Coaster, stay down. Little bastard. Whew. 
Okay. Nice. Oh, we had an XP candy XL. I'm going to dump these into Espeon as well, I think, because he's going to be... Ironthorn probably needs it too. That was good. I want to save it because that's a good one. Okay, we need to get on with actually doing what we're supposed to be doing here because I really want this thing. He's so cool. Chayu is really, really, really cool. I'm excited about this. It's been a long time since I've been so hyped on a legendary. Okay, and then we'll have to worry about the gems later. Oh, Espeon has that lucky egg, but he's not making progress because he has to battle to get that, huh? I thought another Pokemon did the battling. Got this item and then we'll move on. Okay, doesn't matter, I guess, but... Great ball. The hell? Oh, there's a boat down here! I'm getting so distracted all the time. That's cool. Actually, wait, I knew that already. We've seen boats. There's nothing down here, though, which is disappointing. Oh, there's one thing. Oh, there is a TM. I had a feeling there would be something cool over here. And I didn't see that somehow, because I'm a blind fool. Okay, so uh, according to Dot Esports, uh, Game Freak occasionally tosses in long fetch quests that, quests that are necessary for unlocking items, uh, sword progression, or even encounters with specific Pokemon. In the case of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, such quest involves a hunt for ominous blue stakes, the Fire Scourge Shrine, and the new legendary Pokemon Chaiyu. Chaiyu is part of a new quartet of Pokemon most considered to be legendary based on their ruinous theme and the fact that they are locked behind such an odd quest and a level that puts it on par with most post-game encounters. In order to open the gates to Chaiyu's prison, players will need to find eight ominous blue stakes spread around specific areas of Paldia, and depending on where you start, they almost make up a pattern that will lead directly to the Fire Scourge Shrine, so here's how to find them all without needing to scour the entire region. Where to find all Chaiyu ominous blue stakes in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Chaiyu might actually be the final of the four ruinous Pokemon you track down, but it's just as simple as the other three as long as you know what you're looking for. Well, I'm going to start with this one. Okay. You'll want to start your quest to the north of Lavincia, as the first of the eight stakes is located near a large tree at the top of a hill. Okay. So, Pokemon are good. Actually, we probably... We'll go to Lavincia, but I need to heal up. Lavincia, I think, is... I wish there was a better way to look at this map, but I think it's on the left. Wait. No, hold on. We're actually close to that. We're in Lavincia. The hell? Okay. I, we might actually have this one already. So it is over here. Okay, so we're going to fly there. We're going to heal up um, just because we lost a lot of our power points um, with that raid. Unless we got all that back. I don't even know. Whatever. Cool. So this shouldn't be too hard. God, I'm getting so much spam email lately from like garbage stuff. I don't know why they're sending me this nonsense. Uh, interesting. Alright. Okay, so then Hiya. Spider-Man. Alright, so now should be up here somewhere. <gasps> oh, you bitch. I thought you were shiny, but you were just a... Uh... Damn. Evolution. Okay, so it should be by the tree up there. Go up. There we go. There it is. Okay. I don't know what that was. All right, so the blue stake. Oh, it's a, it says black, but obviously it's blue. Okay, it explains why people call that purple one black when I was looking at that. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's where the first one is in Lavincia. Let's go ahead and just look at the map so you can see. So it's right here on this tree. Very simple stuff. Okay, there's number one. All right, number two. Head through Tagri Thicket. And you will see stake number two sitting on a hill not too far away from the poison type team star base, closer to the base of Glass Glaciado Mountain. It's not really great in terms of map location, but I'm assuming that is. Okay, so it's close here. So it looks like it's in the dirt. Okay, it's this spot. So this little green patch of grass, okay? Set its destination. We should be able to get there pretty easy now that we can climb everything. That's, like, so freaking useful. And now, there's also been a couple of stakes, I think, that I've picked up 
throughout the game. So if there's some, if it's missing, then obviously we can just mark that. It's like, okay, we got that one. All right. Don't need you. Can I climb? Can I climb that? I don't know if I can climb upside down and stuff. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, you can? No idea how this works. Oh, so he can't go that way. So he does have a limit on his climb ability. Oh my god, he did make it. That's amazing. Wow. That's really cool. So he... That was really sweet. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So you can make it. If you're... If you manage to move him around enough, he'll be able to, to do that. Okay. The mobility that he has on the wall is impressive. I'm surprised that it works that well. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so obviously the legendary is something you want to do much later. I mean, there's probably ways where you can do it much earlier in the game. Much, much earlier. I saved a lot of the certain things that I'm doing for last just because I had a certain way that I wanted to get things done. But you obviously don't have to. You can certainly go after the legendaries whenever you want. Although, I would highly suggest that you have... Man, look at these guys. I like how it's just one dude surrounded by a bunch of babes. Not that I'm into sexy lions or anything. I'm just saying that, you know... Hiya! That is just him and some others. So, hotties. Cool. There's a gimme goal here. Alright, so that was number two. But, uh... I do think it's probably... Probably better if you go after the stakes once you've got a lot of the moves for, uh... We're right on here. Okay. Uh, three. Not all of them are by trees, but stake three is located a bit further north than the last one. Past the poison type keepstar base under a tree and close to one of the terror raid dens. Okay. So this one is by the water stream. It's not too far from here, actually. So here we go. So it looks like it's right here, which we may have already gotten this one. Okay. Let's get there. See, look at that. One dude, all ladies. It's the uh, Andrew Tate of Pokemon, apparently. Assuming that he, you know, kidnapped them or something. Never mind. <laughs> all right. So it should be easy finding all these stakes, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go do this raid as well. Just to kind of knock it out. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, that should be easy. stone guy. I just love how it just sounds like he's chipping and falling away. Kylie, Brooklyn, and Chase. Alright. Let's bitter blade this Palmo. Should be pretty easy since it's a three-star raid. Alright. <laughs> Very easy. Okay, sweet. Now, for those of you guys that are trying to follow along and look at all the stakes very quickly, I mean, keep in mind that I am doing a playthrough here, so obviously I'm going to be doing different things throughout the throughout the videos where I'm going after the stakes and then I'm doing the raids and all that stuff. So I apologize if I'm like sort of sidestepping towards the purpose of the video, but um, if you have any uh, desire to, to kind of like focus on your own, I don't blame you by looking at the description box and grabbing that um, link there to dot.esports, whatever, because it seems pretty comprehensive. That's not too bad. I thought it was going to be a little more. I thought I was going to struggle a little more understanding where everything was, but I am not. It's pretty easy. And we're getting close to our next destination. Uh, I could probably catch him, but I don't care. Grab you. And you. 
got another raid as well, but I think we're coming right up on it. Is that a cave entrance? What was that? Oh, it's just a little opening. Okay. Pop up in here, so it should be right up at the top of this. So we probably don't have this one. Beauty. A trainer, Lycanroc, Halucha, an item, then we'll do that raid. Because we're going through these going through these really fast. Man, I'm so excited about this friggin' fish. It's a fish Pokemon. Okay, let's grab this guy. You. Oh, wait, that's not a raid. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, what are you? Sparkly little twinkle thing. Tart apple. Don't care. All right. I'm gonna save it for safety just because we're making some progress. Okay. Pop in here, four star dragon air. Okay. Uh, I mean, this really doesn't exactly like, oh, he's a water type, crap. <laughs> well, when it comes to uh, quality decision making, you can chalk this up as to being a really bad one. I should have put someone else here. Oh, well. If he's shiny, I'm going to be devastated. Okay. <laughs> because it's probably going to knock me out a big time. What the heck is that tree Pokemon? That thing is awesome. I don't think I've seen that before. All right, so this was really stupid. I get it. Let's do Shadow Claw. Our level should do the damage here, but that's more than I thought. I'll take that. Not worried about any of this nonsense. Oh, you little bastard. Okay. Oh, he's almost knocked out anyway. Okay, this wasn't bad. Oh, because it's a water type, but it's probably not using water type attacks because it doesn't have any. It's not natively a water type anyway. It probably only knows dragon type moves, right? Oh, okay. I'm not worried. Aha! Being reckless and lucky always prevails. Here we go. <laughs> and not a water scratch on me. Kaylee, Logan, Ava. Uh, I don't want to catch it. Nah, I don't need it. Got an experience candy L out of it. I'm glad that some of these lower tier raids are giving us experience candy L because that is very useful. All right, so we've got that done. Um, we're going to four now, right? Okay, save that just because I got that. Okay, breaking out of the tree tangle, stake four is north of province area one on another taller hill right before you hit the slopes of the base of Glaciado Mountain. Okay. So where are you? Their orientation on... Oh man, that Gallade is just driving me crazy. I can never find that thing. Unless... Actually, I do want to catch that. Unless he's up here. He's never where he, they say he's going to be, but it's always like sort of a general area, right? Damn it. Never around. Just like my parents. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think I need that rolling tumbleweed thing, but I don't really care. Um, okay. So this guy is where? Glaciato Mountain. find the lake that is it okay so the lake is here so it then looks like it's right on this yeah dirt patch okay that's where you are it's curiously they're all very close to each other yeah, i probably should have grabbed that thing but whatever all right so we are halfway done now so if you're following the video 
Well, almost halfway done. If you're following the video, once we go, oh, you, why are you guys out here? It's daytime. You will be halfway done once we grab this steak. So glad it's only four each. I was expecting those to be a real pain because 32 seemed excessive, but I was like, I don't know. I just assumed that was actually how it was going to go down. Yeah, I already have that. Wait, where are you? It looks different. Is it just because of a gender thing? Because I feel like I have a female one. I don't know. I don't remember it looking at all pink. I thought it was green and pink. I don't know. I just wanted to stop just in case it was shiny. You never know. All right, friends. So you were up here. What was that little cry? Get up there. There. Thank you. Yeah. Gimme ghoul. Okay. Alright, so four is done. We are now halfway. Okay, so this one. Number five now. Follow the river of Glaciato Mountain. This is the one that I think we may have. Looks like it's right by this tree. We might actually have this one. Can I fly to the top of the mountain? Because if... Oh, you know what? I wonder. It probably won't let me. Yeah, this one's going to be a little longer. There's not really a way to fly there. Let's see. Highest peak. It should be easier because by flying there, we could, like, glide down. We'll probably drop before, but that's okay. Okay. Maybe we'll... Look it up, baby. Yeah, see, if you had a, an air boost, that would be nice. He's going to drop real hard here in a second. There it goes. Not a, oh, that's a raid, actually, that I missed. Okay, that's all right. A steel... Actually, it's steel, which means it should be very easy to beat with a fire Pokemon. So I will do that one, because that should be an instant knockout for Cerulege without question. Then we can glide back down. Ah, uh, Wigglytuff. A <laughs> steel Wigglytuff. Who would have known some items. I'm trying to think. Do I want to do Iron Thorn for leveling up first, or do I want to do Espeon? Probably Espeon. Just because he has such a powerful special attack. And I only have Iron Thorn on the team just because I think it looks cool. Not because of its strategic battle value. Okay. I'm surprised that wasn't a one hit. KO. nothing. There it is. Okay. Wait, you still have health? They got one more attack in before it failed. Okay. 
just looks like he's dancing. Kills me. Okay, so now we're going to five. Cool, we got some experience candy L's and some mediums. Excellent, that wasn't too bad. Okay, we're gonna save it for safety. Safety first. I mean. Okay. Now we're good. I don't need to save it twice. Okay. Back on the track. There's a raid down there too. A couple of raids. I need it, man. My team is weak. What are you, Sparkles? Anything interesting? Oh, it's that little frog thing. I actually don't have that. Um, so we will take you on. Actually, I don't even think it matters if we majorly damage him because he'll... He has that thing around him so I can just beat the crap out of him. His terrible shatter. And then I can catch it. Yeah, we don't have you. This is the first time I've ever seen this in the wild. What are you even called? Friggybacks. Alright, Friggy. Oh wait, I do have you? Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> I thought I didn't have him. Just noticed the Pokeball there. I thought for sure I didn't have that thing. Okay. JK, LOL, who cares? <laughs> Useless. I just like hurt that thing and then just took off. Oh crap, it's a dragon raid. It's a TM. Earth power. Um, oh, that's easy. Okay, that's fine. Three star raid with this tiny little porcupine thing. Sea urchin Pokemon. Not too concerned about it. I didn't have that friggy vex. All right, this should be presumably one hit. Oh, okay, three hits. That's fine. There we go. Easy. Collect my items, and then we can grab that fifth steak. I like how it looks like it has a butt cheek on its face. Or a pair of butt cheeks. Just a butt. Cool. Got some M's. Alright, and then the raid, or the raid, the steak should be right here. Next to us. Gonna catch ourselves a goldfish. It's too far anyway. All right. Is that the evolution thing? Do we have you? Uh, stay focused. Should be right here. Yep, there it is. Energy root. Stake 6 is a bit of a trek to get to Stake 6, but this is the home stretch once you pull it from the ground near Province Area 2's only Pokemon Center atop a hill at the edge of the map. Okay. So this one, that one shouldn't be too bad then if that's the case, if it's near a Pokemon Center. But where is that? Okay. 
Okay, where's the lake? Oh, this must be over here. Yeah, it's over here. So it is this tree, it looks like. Okay. We are getting there. We are getting there, France. We are getting there. Okay. It should be super easy. It should be like right, right here. And we got a bunch of raids here too. Good for us. Bow, 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 bow. Nice. We'll have to figure out how to get our Bisharp evolved soon too, because it evolves based off of the battles we have with other Bisharp, which is a weird thing to me, but it's very interesting as well. This music is so dope. <laughs> okay, so stake six. Was there a raid right nearby? I thought there was. Yeah, let's go knock these out. Ooh, no bad. I don't, don't know if I have one of those. Okay, this is a ghost one. Oh, come on, dude. What are you doing? Why you do me like that? Okay, let's grab this. Oh, we don't have you, a ghost type. I don't actually know if Cerulege is going to be able to do well here. But we don't have you. This one, though, this is a... Uh, the teapot thing, which is already a ghost. Sadly, if if one of these ever turns out to be shiny, I don't know if like if you lose the raid and then you go back into it, if it stays shiny. I don't know if that's how it works. Still so much I don't know. Okay, let's see. Oh, so these are st still effective. That's fine. Once we get Terra, we'll be all right. Pulty ghosts. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I should have realized. If I can hurt you, you can hurt me. Wait, did it? It looked like everyone on the team was burned. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, well, came back with that. I'm going to start hitting it with uh, Bitter Blade as well to get some of my health back. Yeah, everybody's burned except me. I don't know if I can tear it yet. Probably not. I think we only attacked twice. Love that ghost thing. So friggin' sweet. All right, well, I guess we'll just do... Yeah, we're going to do Bitter Blade just to uh, get some health. Ooh, dang, that really did a number on me that time. Nothing. Barely any health. Dang, that thing is going to knock me out if we don't do better here. That's so useful. Battle. I still can't tear him. Damn. That might knock me out. Does that reset my my terror orb? Oh, I guess we're, we're okay. We're okay for the moment. Probably won't. Oh, I will survive another one. Okay, that wasn't too bad. And we're back in the green. I would love that crystal ghost thing just as like a statue. That'd be really cool. Okay, let's Terra and let's make this quick, shall we? Because I actually want to catch this thing, so I want to make sure that we can knock it out. What the hell is that move? Boost defense, maybe? Wait, it knocks his defense down 
and his special defense, which is not good for him. His attack goes up, though, and special attack goes up. That's curious. Which makes no sense, because I think... Well, I guess Shell Smash, you are breaking the defense. Okay, I guess when you put it like that. All right. Stupid, but I get it. Come on, he's got to break that thing, and then we can finish him. That counter is really going ape right now. There we go. Okay. Back in business. Okay, come on. I don't want to see the animation of this whole thing, like, shattering, and then it's going to take time away. Oh, God, it's so annoying. Still in the green, though. At least everybody's doing damage. I did not mean to do flame charge. Damn it. Why did you do that? We'll beat it. I have one more hit. As long as we don't get another shield protecting this thing. go. I'm going to throw a Pokeball. Why not? It's an instant catch, so you can use whatever ball you want on these. That doesn't matter. <sighs> okay. XL. Nice. And we captured you. So what does it say about you now? Because we still have to catch the legendary. <laughs> we have what? Two more stakes? One more stake? No, it's two. Seven and eight. Okay, so we got you. This Pokemon will blind by creeping into teapots and pouring themselves into leftover tea. Weird. Oh, another phony. God. We didn't catch Mimikyu? I thought... Dude, I'm terrible. I'm the worst Pokemon trainer there is. Okay, so we got six. Let's make sure that's correct and I'm in the right spot here. Yeah. Noe Vern is also over here. Let's think about adding him to the team. Okay. Seven, from a bit of the edge to another, Stake Seven is located in some ruins slightly north of the nearby river that connects to East Province Area 3. Which means here, this river. Which means that cave entrance there. Which means I don't really have a better way to get there in terms of speed. So I guess we're just going to have to head on over. I, I don't have him either, I think. That evolution. Yeah, this is going to be a pain. Grabbing all these stakes and stuff. What tier is this? No, he'll... He'll probably stomp me, so I'm okay. Oh, we got the LP out of it, though. Okay. Let's go here and see if I can jump over. These guys all hang out here, but do they actually, like, can I battle them for training if I wanted? But they're probably super weak anyway. It's just a bunch of 12-year-olds. Oh, wow. We actually made it really quickly. His red eyes are terrifyingly scary. Okay. Oh, okay. That's the ruins. That was easy. I knew there'd be a gimme goal here. Always is. Oh, shit. Noivern and Noibat, both of which I don't have. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's see, let's get the little... Oh, there's a Houndoom here, too. Oh, this is just, like, decked out in dark. Okay, so you, my friend, I don't have... Oh, you are strong as well, actually. 
That Neuvern must be pissed. I'm gonna steal one of its children. Which is a really like, really twisted way to look at it, but that's how I feel. Is that confusing? No, but it's just a status move. Oh god. That should be really useful actually, Defiant. Oh yeah. Smack it down. Beautiful. By Sharp's butt cheeks. Yeah. 320. I don't want to use too many of these on these guys. Mainly because I need to save them all for fishy fish. Awesome. And then we'll grab Noivant. Or Noivern. And then we have Noivant. Cool. Noivant can change the frequency of its sound waves at will. And it generates ultrasonic waves of up to 200,000 hertz. Baller, dude. Okay, and then Noivern, which is a really cool Pokemon. Oh, you... Oh, snap. That bat is like, I'm gonna freaking kill you. Very angry looking. He has a really cool shiny. It's like a teal green type of color. Dude, he looks so gnarly. He looks kind of like a Godzilla villain, you know? Uh, it probably would do too much damage. So if I switch over to Bisharp and he takes a hit, of course, maybe is it... Does Defiant only work for status dealing? I don't actually know. But Defiant has been very useful. Perfect. That should trigger it, either way. I don't think False Swipe is going to bring him down to 1 HP, but it could. Let's find out right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. That's a KO. Oh, thank God it wasn't. Beautiful. <laughs> There's a TM up there. Thank you, God. I'm glad that was efficient and quick. Okay, so we have eight... And then the shrine. Everybody's surrounding me like they're gonna freaking attack me and suck my blood. In the dark, even Hydreigon are terrified of this Pokemon, but in the light, Noivern is uh, the one that avoids battle. It's cool. It's a really cool Pokemon. Cool. Alright, let's grab that TM. Okay, save that. All right, the final stake is straight shot from stake seven to the bamboo forest that's as close to another team star base. You'll find it sitting atop Fury Falls. Okay. Okay, let's heal up. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. All right, so it shouldn't be too far. Let's take a look. Where are you? You are on top of a green patch. Looks like it's here. Yeah, that tree right there. Fury Falls, okay. Fury Falls also houses a fire scored shrine within a cave to the right of the waterfall itself. Pulling all eight ominous blue stakes will free the dark fire type ruinous Pokemon to allow you to battle it in your Pokemon Scarlet Island Adventure. Okay. I feel like there's a Krikatot over there that I have not captured. I'm not really interested in catching it, but the fact that I haven't caught it is so annoying. Where the hell is it then? There it is. Okay. Very good. Last one. Okay. Yeah, 
Now what? Coming from the shrine. Yes, we got some of that. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can do some boosting real fast before we jump into this fight. Booster energy. An item available on certain abilities. Uh, strength. Okay. Didn't think so. save it for now and let's see if we can take this fish on now what is he so he is interesting so he's a dark and fire type i'm very excited about this i might even put him on the team just because he's cool okay so the shrine i think is in here no wouldn't it be whoa dude holy this place is pretty sweet all right, let's get out of the water. Oh, get out of here, Sableye. I don't care about you or your life. Okay, save it right here. Brilliant. This is going to be cool. Everybody wants to attack me, but I'm going for the fish. Faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Of course I will. Not using the Master Ball, by the way. I kind of want to get a Luxury Ball in there, but that might be hard. Bang. He is so cool. That is one of the coolest legendaries I've ever freaking seen. Now we saved it. I don't know what level he's going to be at. I don't know what sort of damage he can take, but I do think Cerulege would be fine because he's a fire type. So him doing fire type attacks could chip it, the, the damage down a little bit. I'm not sure. Oh, he's a level 60. That might not be entirely accurate. Okay, let's go ahead and throw Bisharp out there then. Because we have level advantage, and he's a... F oh, wait, he's a Steel-type shit. Steel and Dark. Dude, he's so cool. I love this little thing. That's very strong. Okay, we're going to do Terra and False Swipe. gonna knock me out oh we lived and did nothing okay <laughs> that's all right we've got four stores for this all right chi you chi you probably chi i think c-h-i so it should be c-h-i-u yeah his chi would be c-h-a-i right his moves are interesting Love this little fish. Mm, mm, what you, mm, do, do, do. Damn it. He's not going to hit false swipe again. He's going to hit it hurt himself, isn't he? Come on, strike him. Yes, thank you. 
beautiful. Well done, by Sharp. It won't catch on the first try. There's no way it's legendary. Yeah. Dude, he's, I love the artwork, though. I like that it doesn't look like a Pokemon, but... So curious. I love it, though. Oh, you know what? I'm throwing Ultra Balls. Don't catch. Don't catch. Don't catch. I want to use a Luxury Ball. Thank you. I have to buy a lot of Luxury Balls after this. I'm fine if that knocks him out. Didn't do much, though. Oops. Yeah, we're going to have to buy a lot more of these. If I can catch all the Legendaries and Luxury Balls, that'd be awesome. I don't know... I don't know what the Luxury Ball's catch rate is, though. It might not be very good. Bye, Sharp. You've done your job. You can... You can go to sleep, as far as I'm concerned. I am curious as to why it's not a watery type as a fish. That was close. I had my hopes up for that one. This is going to be really hard. Because I don't think Luxury Ball is going to work on him very well. Really got my hopes up that time. Bounce. Ledge out there just so he can take the fire damage. Come on, baby. I wonder, let's take a look at this. Pokeball catch rates. Oh wow, there's a whole math thing. I just wanted a, a visual breakdown. Wow. Okay, it's just too much math. Jesus, just tell me. Luxury ball is equal to great ball. That'd be great if you said something like that. In which case, we're never catching this bitch in this thing. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oops, I didn't do that. Uh, let's just do this. I'm going to revive him. I wasn't really paying attention. I didn't realize he was using bounce to go up. How much damage is that going to do? None, because I'm fast. That was anticlimactic. Did the bounce, and then he just, like, reappeared. Come on. Oh, you know what? I should paralyze him. I didn't think about that. I'll use Iron Thorn here in a second. Paralyze him, bring it down a little bit more. I'm not going to use any attack, though. Forgot about Thunder Wave. You don't really look at Iron Thorn and think electric, so I forget that he was there. was going to do much. Yeah, look at, he's pure metal and he's named Iron. How are they not? How are they not steel type Pokemon? I don't understand. I get the Iron and Steel are different, but they're both metal. Ooh. some damage, but that's okay. Come on. 
put my legendary boy in a freaking Pokeball. Actually, I wonder... Chayu, Chiyu. Interesting. So the P Pokemon that are shiny locked, all the starters, gift Pokemon you get from NPCs, box legendaries, right on, right on. Uh, the Titan Pokemon, the Pokemon Ruin Quartet. Okay, so Chiyu is. They all have names that are very Chinese. Ting Lu, Chen Pao, Wo Qian, and Chiyu. Very interesting. Come on, dude, just get in my ball. Nice. I'm gonna go out and buy a bunch more after this. Come on, my man, come on. There we go. Damn it. Oh, he's done. He has one more round and he's out. That's right, you did your best, Iron Thorns. I appreciate it. All I needed was your Thunder Wave, and that's what you did for me, so. I feel like the Iron Pokemon, like these uh, Paracasual Pokemon or whatever, shouldn't be able to be used in battle, because, like, they're freaking robots, you know? I just don't... It seems like it's cheating, <laughs> somehow. Also, his HP is really great. Cerulege at 90 is at 270, and he's at, like, level 60, and he's, like, 213 or something. I don't know how much his HP is going to increase, but he's going to have some really high HP by the time we're level for level. Sweet Lord. Get in there. Probably would have already captured if I used an Ultra Ball. Luxury balls are expensive too, and I, this is gonna suck having to buy them. Ledge, all your job is, is to sit here and take the hits. You're powerful, you're strong, you can do this. None of his attacks really seem to do too much damage to you, so I'm not really worried about it. Come on, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, you're paralyzed. You're basically Christopher Reeves right now, baby. Christopher Reeves, that Pokemon! That's a little too dark. Sorry. <laughs> eh. He never hit me with bounce. I don't know what the deal is with that, but. Damn. Come on. I kind of want to put Chi Yu on my team in replace of. Uh, ooh, that was a really good attack. Slacking. It's just so cool. I don't like having legendaries on my team, but I will make the exception for this one because he is friggin' awesome. Actually, I want to heal Cerule Edge, because that was a devastatingly powerful attack. It's the first time he actually hit me, and that did a lot of damage. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. I thought Full Restore was going to take him out of the confusion, but he snapped out before that happened. Damn, he did it again. That's exactly half. But I have more, for, more what more full restores than you do power points for that attack. So we can drag this out as long as you want, fish Pokemon, because I'm gonna catch you, and you're gonna be on my team. Damn, could you imagine what sushi would taste like if this Pokemon was like on some on some rice? You know what I mean? Imagine being a Pokemon trainer, capturing a legendary Pokemon for the purpose of making sushi out of it. Could you fathom that? Sweet Jesus. That would be insane. Okay. He's either gonna hit me or he's not, but it doesn't really matter either way. I don't know. Can he hit me as a ghost? 
I'm gonna throw Bisharp Sharp out there just for, or not throw him out there, but kill him up just because. Also, this thing was tra what the hell? <laughs> just, Doug Trio just chilling. What are you doing, Trio? All right, look. <laughs> He's dancing to the music. I think it's really funny that uh, Chai Yu is in this tiny little, I don't know, sewage pipeline with rock in it. He was locked in that for like all eternity. There's barely any room in there. No wonder this thing is probably pissed. <laughs> That's so funny. The trio's chilling. You know, I would like it if there was like some sort of region design of Doug Trio where instead it was a Doug duo. Yeah, bitch, hell yeah, we got him finally. Chi you suck it. Get on my team, you little asshole. Swap him out for slacking. <laughs> Doug Trio's dope. The envy accumulated within curved beads that sparked multiple conflicts has clad itself in fire and become Pokemon. Yeah, add him to the team. Sorry, slacking. He's, he's the exception. He's just too cool. I still don't understand why Iron Valiant is there in the Pokedex. I feel like Game Freak must have messed up. Oh my god, I gotta get the hell out of here. Alright, let's see. We're gonna see if I can fly to the nearest Pokemon Center. Uh, that's not a, it's a Fury Falls. It's not a Pokemon Center. It doesn't really matter. I can just pick anyone. Okay. Cool. And there we go, my friends. We caught Chi Yu, the first of the legendary Ruinous Pokemon, ominous steak thing. We'll heal up, and uh, you can expect another episode of the playthrough uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark and Nine channel, where we will continue on, and we will get, gather another legendary. Now, I don't really care for the other legendaries as much, so we're not going to be putting them on the team, but uh, as this one is the exception, just because he's really freaking cool looking. Um, we're also going to do some buying and all that stuff, but I'll do that separately. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of the playthrough. Don't forget to take a look at the description box um, for some stuff there, such as the link for, to uh, Dot Esports. Um, big thanks to them for providing a pretty, pretty great breakdown and guide for this. Very, very useful. Um, very, very helpful. And I'm glad that I had this at my disposal because that was very, very valuable in this video. But yeah, take a look at the link. Take a look at their website if you want to see how to get all the stakes if you haven't done that yourself. And then go over there and uh, get yourself a Chiyu. Um, if you liked the video and you liked all this stuff, though, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the description box, in addition to uh, the DOT or the .esports link for where all the stakes are, um, there are links to uh, geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. And there's also a link to the Mark and Nine Community Discord server. Um, it's still growing, so if you want to be part of that group, you can chat with other people from the channel as well as myself. Um, but if you do join the Discord, make sure to like look at the rules and get your roles and everything and uh, if you want to talk to me at me I don't check the discord as often unless I get uh, a notification for it which would be you know mentions but nonetheless thanks again for your time and watching this video hopefully you found it useful in any case I'll see you when we continue with more of our playthrough tomorrow all right guys that's it for me take care be well I'll see you later